try to think of how we can incorporate what's very common in the code industry, in the software industry, which is the hackathon, into design. And the thinking process was to bring a group of like-minded people who can think outside the box. The strategy part in this design hackathon had two main goals. The first one was to share what we here at Design It are good at, which is bringing people from different backgrounds in order to develop innovative experiences, products and processes. And the other goal was uh, to be inspired. There's been a huge difference between my work in government uh, and my work in with small startups and small institutions. You're able to be much more dynamic and much, much, much more flexible, which is what I've learned this time. Where you can start something within 24 hours, find you made a mistake and the entire team goes back and moves forward again. So we brought everyone in here together. We shared our technology. Design it brought its expertise in design and the people are basically bringing innovative ideas around the user interface. The series of user experience challenges we're kind of throwing at the participants of the hackathon is quite complex. So there are a lot of potential uh, kind of workflow issues we need to work through uh, and this is the challenge we gave to the participants to try and tackle. I got the chance to meet really incredible people. Each and one of the, each each one of them are very talented, very smart, and gifted. And uh, I think the whole combination was was good. <laughs> What this hackathon really brought to my skill set are new skills that I didn't know that I needed. So whether it be a project in Africa, or whether it be a project here locally, a political project here in, in Israel, uh, this hackathon really taught me a lot about those skills.